What's up everybody? It's a little crazy here at the gym. I just wanted to do a quick video about an extremely important topic and uh, that is something you have to change before anything else changes and that is your mindset. Uh, we all know how important our mindset is but here's the deal, we all have these thoughts. It's a, uh, our, our mindset or a paradigm, which is the, the lens with which we sort of uh, see things. It's what we believe about things. And we all have these paradigms um, in all different areas of our lives. It's been a result of how we were raised, the people we've been around, the things we've read. They, they say uh, what you don't know won't hurt you. That is completely false. Uh, there are certain things that if you don't know, they will kill you. Uh, and that's why I'm here today to explain a little bit about the mindset uh, that you may have about your own abilities. Uh, and again, I don't know what that's from. Uh, maybe uh, you were told that you were ugly or fat or whatever the case is, you insert the word. Um, but it, at some level, if you believe that, it has affected uh, a lot of things, uh, including your behavior. I remember when uh, when I was in high school, I was, I, I don't know, or I'm not gonna get into all the reasons, but for some reason, I just never believed that I was a, a smart kid. I not that I was like super depressed or had a terrible self-esteem. I was just kind of into sports and I just never saw myself as somebody that could be smart and excel in uh, academics. I saw the other kids that were like that and I just figured that was their deal and this is my deal. I'm more of an athlete. And I even remember uh, meeting some uh, one guy in particular who was, he was recruited for basketball to an Ivy League school and he was extremely smart and uh, I just looked up to him and I said, wow, that's really cool. He's, he's really good at both. I never once thought that I could be good at both. And because of that, uh, that affected my behavior. I was the guy, I was the kid that was, um, you know, I was having my girlfriend do my homework and I wasn't really studying for my tests and I wasn't always doing all my work. I just wasn't applying myself. I figured, even, even though it wasn't completely conscious, I figured if I'm not, if I, I'm not smart anyway, um, I'm not gonna you know, do all this stuff. Uh, but then something changed, uh, and I, I mentioned this before, you may have heard me share this. I was a little bit behind after high school, but I really did want to do something with my life. I wanted to get into uh, the health field, and in particular at the time was physical therapy. It still is, and at the time it was very, it was a very competitive uh, field, and I was nowhere near the level I needed to be in terms of the sciences. So I decided to, to really uh, make a change, and I was working hard to sort of catch up. I was putting in overtime. I was staying at school until 8 p.m. Anyway, uh, it was a, a particular math class I was taking, and I was uh, after hours at the, uh, the professor. His name was Professor Skernick. He was a, a very interesting teacher. He was uh, just very memorable. Anyway, uh, I'm asking him questions, and he just looks up at me in the middle of it, and he said, you know, Billy, I have these office hours twice a week, and you are the only one that ever comes. And I said, wow, that's, that's interesting. And then he said, you know, you seem like the kind of guy that can do anything you set your mind to. And it was like, it was almost like a light bulb went off. It was, and I, I still had work to do, but at that moment, I, I, my beliefs started to change, and it was amazing. I, I, I went from being like that kid that was really not a, a good student to somebody who was a straight A student, and it was a very uh, surreal moment when I, I had all the other students coming up to me, asking me for help, and it was just uh, amazing. But it was all a result of my mindset, so I had it in me the whole time. I just didn't believe it, therefore I didn't act on it. So again, maybe you you have beliefs that you think are are right, but they're just not. And I'm here to tell you 
that you do have what it takes to achieve the goals you have for yourself. You have to believe that. You have to believe that it's possible. There are many other people that are either like you or in a more difficult circumstance that have achieved what you're looking to. You gotta find those people and be inspired. You can do it. It all starts with just one step. Take that, that next step and then take the next step after that. I'd love to help you take those steps. If you need any help, be sure to, to message me. We have our our summer slim down going on throughout the summer. A couple of start dates, limited spots. Uh, if you'd like to get in, you get three uh, personal training sessions per week where we cater to your fitness level. And you are not going to feel intimidated. You are going to feel empowered and uh, we're going to help you uh, every step of the way. Uh, we make fitness fun so you can lose weight, feel stronger, and have more energy. We'd love to help you with that. Uh, thanks so much for, for uh, spending some time with me, and I uh, hope you just uh, start to shift that paradigm that you may have, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, and God bless.